Good morning folks, here we are again, been viewing a few of my uh, friends builds of late, some really good ones out there, so if you get time please stop by and give them a like. As promised, today's build is the X-Wing Fighter from Star Wars, made by Incredibuilds. So let's get into the packaging and move on. As you can see, a nice well made cover, usual pamphlet with updated availabilities for anybody that uh, is wanting to uh, continue with these. I do suggest that you give them a go at least they are rather nice so that's that and inside your package you will also find a very detailed instruction book and paint guide along with all the information regarding your model kit and its variants Poe Dameron uh, Luke Skywalker there we go some original artistry work in here from the movie Star Wars and interviews and a couple of paint schemes you've got the T65 standard and the swamp of Dagobah after it crashed into the water so that's the book instruction pamphlet support cardboard and then the kit itself let's take a look at this one as it's a iconic the detail on this is uh, fairly standard as you can see cockpit area the lasers the thruster the bodywork looks really nice now this may be a two-part video so if you wish to continue watching please do you'd be very welcome and let me just bring the camera a bit forward there we go so you can actually see what I'm up to. Okay, well let's get into the build. So with part one, I need parts one, two, and three. So part one is the center structure for the main bodywork. There we go. Parts two and three are together they look like the rear section and there's part two and part three when it comes out like so put that to one side and away we go so part two sits atop and part three it's below and there's no detail on this part at all there's a bit of debris there so I'm going to take the exacto knife and just nip it out good tip always have a nice clean sharp blade in your knife ready sanding stick at the side and a pair of tweezers just in case okay so there we go now we need part four and part five so we get the sheet part four right there pop it through drop it out and part five i've got to search for is right there and this is where the tweezers are going to come in 
or popping out. The two pieces are so close together. There we go, part five. Put that piece back. Okay, so part four goes to the next notch. No detail, no side difference. So slide it straight in. There we go. Now part five looks like, and I say looks, it's not very clear on this. Looks like something that goes around there. But it doesn't doesn't say. Let's try it there. Yep, there it goes. It's not very clear that, that instruction for part five, but that's where it sits, right there. Okay, uh, the exacto knife again, a couple of little nubs, just nip them off. There we go, and okay. So part six and seven are the next two pieces, which are together right here. There's seven and six. Now part seven's taken some of the debris with it. It's not needed. So six goes on top in the next available slot position. This is making the frame structure for the rest of the X-Wing. And part 7 takes the next available slot underneath on the forward area. There we go. Like so. So the part 6 sits there. And part 7 is sitting there. There. Okay. And we need parts 8 and 9, which lock together before going on. So part 9 is the top section detail that you see throughout the movies when the X-Wing is in view. There's part, and part 8 is that tiny little piece over there. Okay. That looks like the droid. Oh, that's loose. Okay, so I'm going to put that in after. So it goes that way round. And it sits over that area there. Nice and snug. And then your droid sits in there and it goes in. No detail on the droid. So if you are thinking of painting, the choice of colours is yours. And just take that little bit of detail. Rubbish off the top. Give it a firm press down, and there you go. Now that's your first piece of detail on your X-Wing. And there's your droid up front. There you go. Okay. Parts 10 and 11. Go back to the sheet. And search for 10 which is a part of the nose section there and part 11 is next to it there so part 11 is there and part 10 just sits and slides up there and that piece is falling out as suspected. It's 
Good job, it's an internal piece. It'll all be held together nicely. There you go. Now I need parts 12 and 13. There we go. Part 12. Part 13 is next to. Again, exacto knife. Remove the excess debris. Now, as in all my videos, sanding will commence after I've made the kit off screen, off off air, so that uh, I'm not boring you by sitting here stand, sanding away, making a super long video. So, part twelve is a part of the underbelly or as a lot of you will probably point out the cargo bay there we go part 11 doesn't want to go on there we go part 12 that's the cargo area that you see in the Empire Strikes Back and part 14 goes all the way to the front sits there no detail just slide it on and push down and that's part of your undercarriage done. Turn the sheet over and we'll go to part 9. And I need pieces 15 and 16. 15 sits there. Just pop him out. And part 16. When I can find it. Is sitting right there again tweezers pop it out and away you go so we'll fit 15 first and it's the top section up the front like so and part 16 is part of the seating area I believe at least a piece of the canopy and if that's correct that's where it sits if not I'll move it and put it where it should be 17 and 18 are the side modules 17 sits there which is the top piece and 18 is there which is the bottom piece now these are orientated so be careful which way round you place them so we have 17 goes on there locking it down onto the frame previously applied and 18 does exactly the same underneath the same frame and that piece has fell off again There we go. So that's part 17 and 18 in place. Ready for the wings to go on. And then part 19 is a large piece. And 
is sat there and this is one of your detailed parts oh that piece has flung out so 19 is detailed and it has cockpit canopy there and all the rest of the detail in place so we'll apply that and it sits on the front there making sure that the angle is correct let's just get the tweezers and angle this a little more like so so that that piece goes in nice and neat there you go starting to look like the x-wing fighter that we all know that piece keeps dropping out back in no. right I'll fasten him on later I'll get some uh, PVA or something to it right in part 20 is the same side but the front uh, the lower half the front I don't know and here we go now this holds it all together so I connect to the part 19 first and then locate into next available lockings no it's not like in that there we go just give it a firm press and there it goes now as with all these so I say the same thing every time you're probably bored of hearing it but I will say it again please be extra careful with your pieces they are delicate there so there's there's one side of the x-wing complete and looks rather decent okay so now we're going to be working on the opposite side and you're going to do exactly the same on the reverse so we'll take part 21 again the undercarriage aligning it via the center structure just there and then locking its pin at the rear and now you can see your cargo bay more detailed there so 22 and 23 22 is this one and 23 is above So 22 is the top, so I'm going to work on the bottom piece. And as with part 21, centralize and then slide in behind that one there. And then this piece goes on top. there so as before 
it is nicely in place and then we have part 24 which again is the detail with the canopy and cockpit area all the way down to the nose cone a line and then slide down and there we go now we'll try and get this piece back in yeah, like so and there's your canopy and the next piece to go on is the lower half of side panels we'll just get in and again remembering your detail align and tilt so then it slots in nice and neatly with all your other parts so now that is rather tight that fit however a bit of perseverance and gentle persuasion and I emphasize gentle persuasion making sure that it fits nice and neatly X wing starts to take shape like that. Okay, so we we'll put this on one side for now, and we have what I believe to be the wings. So I need parts 26 there. Again, fragile parts to be broken on these, so be very, very careful. So 26, 27 is over here, and let's pull down the other one, and 28 is lower, like so remove any debris so we have 27 goes on the very forward like so and 28 goes on the rear leaving the centre slot clear for whatever goes in there and if I look at that nicely that looks like the lower engines ok 29 and 30 so 29 it's going to be awkward is up the top here so, uh, gently, oh, the other one's dropped out as well. That's okay, I'll put that on one side. 29 and part 30. Where's 30? 30 is down here. One of the coverings for the engine. So, 29 goes in the middle slot. There we go. And 30 underneath with detail showing. Locks into the outriggers on the side of your piece, like so. That's that one. 
Now I need 31 and 32. 32 is up here. And without any question, 32 was bound to come out. As it's inside another piece. So 32, and I need 31, which is where's 31? pop 31 out as well there we go clean off the debris that's followed 31 slides into 26 there. 32 caps off the end this is the rear end of the engine like so so there you go, that's the engine itself, the exhaust as I'd call it, so there you go. And then I need part 33, which is sitting there nicely. Once again, the, de the detail of these kits, although only single sided should have used tweezers there do apologize uh, although not extremely detailed the detail that has been applied is really really good and worth if you wish to paint then it's worth highlighting the detail with a fine line marker or something. Now I need 34, which was removed earlier, along with 32. And that's the collar for the laser. Now then 35 and 36. 36 is extremely fragile, so please be very, very careful when removing this piece. If you have trouble, try using your X-Acto to cut through the holding pieces of the wood to drop it out like so. And 35 is that one there. That can't be right. 68. underneath the uh, the wing remember the backward flow of these wings Get your orientation in the correct alignment and there we go so there's your first wing complete and we'll apply to the X-Wing bodywork like so and there you go and then we repeat again I believe it's going to be another three times 37 is there Thirty-eight and thirty-nine. Thirty-eight and 
39 is there. So again, any debris remove and then apply your parts in accordance. And trust me, I put them on the wrong way round. Didn't check my orientation. Now these videos are unedited. I don't believe in editing out mistakes. Because if you don't show folks mistakes that can be made, then they're not going to know how to avoid them and there's your part 40 again in place we we'll turn the sheet over and we'll get part 41 as with the previous wing and it goes on the outrigger making sure you've got your detail in the correct alignment and that's correct there okay so 42-43 something wrong here. Have I jumped my gun here? That's not right, surely. Twenty-four through thirty-six. Yeah, thirty-six. Okay. 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 Forty-two, forty-three. It says so. Forty-three is the centerpiece. Tweezers in the centre hole and push your part through. Put that piece on one side and that's the part you want. And part 43, uh, 42 rather, is there. So we'll just take that and remove that. And there we go. And that slides in to that piece there like so and then we uh, collect part 44 which is down here again it's connected to another piece like so and then locks in on the back and then the piece you removed and put on one side goes on as the collar like so so your engine's complete and then you just get your wing along with part 47 so 46 fell out there we go 46 Yes, and I need 47, which is here. And as I did before, because of the delicacy, I am going to exact only these parts out when I can find. Oh, no need, it's loose. So gently tease it. There we go. So with this one, again, placing the engine, when I can get the right way, like so, lock it down, and then take the 
weapon and lock it in. So there we go. No, nope. I'll put the weapon on the wrong way around. That's not right either. That doesn't look right to me. That's because I've done it the wrong way around altogether. You see, mistakes happen, and rather than edit the mistake out, you can see what I've done. And if you intend building, you know not to make the same mistake. I like the plonker that I am, because that should be detail up. Like so. See, I know these vehicles, and because I'm using wood, I'm not used to applying them to the said material. I'm used to working with uh, plastics. So there we go. Okay, now we'll apply the wing into its hidey hole. And as you, as you can see, we've now started to get the traditional X-Wing view. Nothing nicer than looking at that. So you're getting to see the detail inside and on top. And I believe, yeah, this is Luke Skywalker's wing. Red 5. So 5 notches on the back of the wing there denotes red 5 so that that part's done so we'll now carry on i'm not i'm not going to make two videos of this i'm, I'm just going to carry on i hope you don't mind and you do watch to the end so i'm going to carry on and continue with this one so i need 48 and 49 and 50 49 and 50 are there together being careful I'm not going to rush so 49 50 put them together on one side and then get in the right orientation <laughs> as I keep reminding you lot and I make the mistakes so Correct way around, 49 and 50. In the right way around this time. And that's how it looks in the instruction sheet. 51 and 52. 52 is there. And 51. 51. 51 is up here. Oh, don't want that one, that's fell out. 51 sits in the centre there to complete the engine itself. And then your detail part underneath looking nice and neat in there. So that's your engine minus its exhaust, which we'll carry on and do now. So 66 sits on the back. And then <coughs> 66. Now I need 53 and Again, these pieces here, they're all numbered the same, these. That's 32, 34, I don't need. 54, 56, they're the two I need. Okay, 
again with your tweezers into the center of the hole gently push through so that you don't break the other part that you need here apply to your piece and slide in engine complete there we go and then the wing we need 68 which is this one which is the top wing oh I forgot to put the collar on there we go slide the collar on and we will apply the engine in the correct way round why is that not going in why is that on the right wing the wrong wing I'm sure it is that's the lower wing not the upper wing that's the one I want see I've got a problem already and I didn't anticipate it so what's going off let's just take this apart see what's what that's correct I don't think that part went in properly. No, it has. That's better. Okay, so it's in properly now. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed, says he. Put the collar back on. That doesn't want now doesn't want to go on. There we go. Okay. There we go. I knew that was the right way around. Okay wing in place and then we just get the next laser part 58 there. carefully removing and then applying to the wing itself And we have the lower wing. And that was the problem. It was the lower wing I was building engine. Up. Oh, you see, you see what I've done there. Finger got in the way, and the inevitables happened. On the best kit I could ask for, and I'm going to do a a repair on screen. small amount of wood glue and repair I'm going to remove that and allow it to dry at 
one side just there and that's what happens when you've got fat fingers and little detail you break things so repair averted and I'll just allow that to dry while I continue and then we'll put it back on okay so we'll carry on with the next engine we need this piece this piece this piece and this piece put that there so this is the last engine that piece that piece both of those in fact I've got a spare wing air cannon there so if the repair doesn't work I'll, uh, I'll use the said spare it has given me a couple of spare parts here so oh, has that piece fell off as well oh dear I'm not doing very well here on this one am I okay okay so I've got a, you see this is why I don't like to see people edit video because they're not showing you the problems that could happen whereas on this one you're seeing exactly what could happen I didn't know that piece was broken So there we go. Bit of wood glue. Bit of manipulation. And in place it is. Just press it down firmly. Make sure you've lined it up properly. I didn't know that piece was broken you see okay so that piece is all but repaired if it needs further repair I'll deal with it so in the meantime we'll crack on trying to avoid any further damage I'm hoping I'm fitting these in the right Way round, yes, I am. There we go. This is the bottom side, so I didn't know that piece was broken, that was a bit strange. Okay. And then we'll get the panel off the sheet. Collar. In place. And the wing. So, so I've nudged that there. There we go. And then we apply this laser. Paint. 
extra, extra carefulness. I've already had one break, there's two breakages on this kit, I don't want another one. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to apply to the vehicle first. Keeping my fat fingers out of the way. Sliding the wing on. And then I'll take the laser and apply after, like so. And purely because I can't be bothered to wait, I'm going to take part 36, which is the spare laser off the sprue so that you can get to see the full kit complete and apply to where I broke it like so and there we have the X-Wing fighter and now I'm just going to build the base so I'll take the main base piece 71 which goes in there like so 72 and 73 it doesn't want to come out there we go I'm on so you sit aloft you sit in the base, aligning everything up. Like so. And then you take your X wing, hoping you've got your base the right way round. like so and slide in gently there we go one x-wing fighter it is repaired however nobody knows but you and me so i hope you enjoyed that one including seeing how easy these things can break slightly longer video than normal but worth it I believe now the next video that I wish to do I don't know whether to do as a video or do as a live stream if you wish to see the next build live please let me know and this is what you're going to get to see the ultimate uh, vehicle from Star Wars the Star Destroyer so if you'd like to see this as a live build please leave a comment with the word live if you wish to see it as a video again leave the word video thank you for coming to see the videos please leave a like share if you'd wish it all helps me to climb the ladder of the rankings of uh, YouTube and I will see you again I hope in the next build bye for now